The battle over the border continues now three weeks into our government shutdown. President Trump took but center stage Americans tonight to address the nation in his first Oval Office address. The topic at hand, the need it to mend our country's broken system. And drives down Women and children are the biggest victims by far of our broken system. This is the tragic reality of illegal immigration on our southern border. This is the cycle of human suffering that I am determined to end. Joining us now with reaction about the president's first address from the Oval Office, News for Jack's political analyst and director of the Public Policy Institute at Jacksonville University, Rick Mullaney. We appreciate you being here. So let's start with this. So the president did not suggest bypassing Congress as he has in news conferences um, to get funding for this border wall. But did he address tonight, his address tonight, really help his case in trying to win over Democrats at all? If the question is, did it help win over Democrats, not so sure he persuaded Democrats, but I did think he certainly scored points with his base. Tonight's speeches were sort of two ships passing in the night. President Trump very focused on the border wall, very focused on illegal immigration, and his case that there is a crisis there. The Democrats much more focused on the shutdown itself, calling it a manufactured crisis. But for President Trump, he's speaking to that base. I'm not so sure that too many people were persuaded by tonight. But he certainly spoke to that base, and he's hoping to broad and get much more public support uh, for his border wall, convincing them there's a crisis, and also support for the shutdown. It didn't look; it, it did do just that. It looked like both sides. One was focused; the president focused on what was happening at the border, while the Democrats were focused on the Americans receiving paychecks and people not getting paid. So, is there any way either side can come away from this both looking like they won here, a safe face? In the end, to resolve this, we need for both sides to be able to declare victory. Mm -hmm. And it's going to take an old-fashioned compromise and an old-fashioned situation in which each side gets a little bit of something. Both are deeply dug in. Both are entrenched. And there's a question of who blinks first. But I think the statesmen need to come to the fore, and they need to allow the other side to save a little face. In this case, it could be a little bit of funding from the Democrats. They get something substantial in return. Each side claiming a little bit of victory and allowing us to move on. This is much more about politics and symbolism than it is about substance. Small amount of money, but for right now, this could end up being the longest shutdown in U.S. history. Well, maybe we should send you up there with some of your <laughs> suggestions. Rick Mullaney, thank you so much for your insight. We appreciate that. Tarek?